Hi, boys and girls. I miss seeing you at school, but I am so happy that I can send a video and um, see you this way from my house to your house with puppy and snail. Hi. Hi. So last week we were in school together. I did a lesson, the first lesson on bullying, and we talked about how to recognize what bullying was. Remember that mean behavior is never okay. Bullying is when someone keeps being mean over and over again. It's unfair, it's one-sided, which means that one person is doing all the mean stuff and the other person isn't doing anything mean back and you can't get it to stop. So we're gonna watch a video, it's about four minutes long with no breaks in it. And then after that's done, I'll come back on here and talk a little bit more. Bye. to do it like this. Scribble up this really cool play structure called the climb. I love to pretend I'm a famous explorer climbing a really tall mountain. I move from one rock to the next, starting higher and higher. It's the best feeling in the world. Except whenever Cody and his friends go there. Sean, get off the climber. We're not even in your way. We were here first and you can't be on it. Get off! Then, Cody and his friends start climbing toward me. I quickly do what they told me to do. I don't want to mess with them because they're so mean and they're much bigger than me. And I know Cody thinks he's really cool in front of his friends when he yells at me because they always start laughing when I get upset. But don't I ever get a turn? Besides, there's plenty of room on the climber for more than just them. It's not fair. I notice there's no one on the climber, so I run right over to it and start climbing. After a few minutes, I feel someone pulling on my sleeve. I don't even have to hear his voice or see his face to know that it's Cody. Let go! But Cody doesn't, and he yanks me to the ground. I told you that you're not allowed on the climber. Get lost, and you better not snitch. I feel tears in my eyes, but I'm not sad. I'm really mad. I'm sick and tired of not being able to play on the climber. Cody and his friends are being more than me. They're bullying me. And I know it's not snitching or tattling when you tell a grown up about bullying. It's reporting. We're supposed to report bullying. So that's what I'm gonna do. I don't wanna report the bullying to the playground supervisor right in front of Cody and his friends because I'm scared they'll see what I'm doing and be even meaner to me. Instead, I decide to talk to Miss Allen, my teacher, about it later, when no one else is around. So now Dylan is running over to me. Hey, Sean, I'm going with you. I saw everything. Really? Thanks, Dylan. I don't feel so nervous now. So we go report the bullying right away. Miss Allen, I say in a strong, respectful voice, I need to report bullying. Every day, Cody and his friends say I can't play on the climb. Today, Cody even yanked me off. That's right. I saw everything, and I think it's bullying too. I'm so glad you two talked to me about this, Sean and Dylan. Thank you for telling me. I agree that it's bullying. Bullying is not allowed at our school. I will make sure that Cody and his friends know that their behavior can't continue. I'm also going to tell the playground supervisor about this. If the bullying continues, Sean, please let me know. We need to make sure that everyone is safe. After my talk with Miss Allen, things are much better at recess. Cody and his friends aren't allowed to play on the plumber for two weeks, and they don't bother me. They must know that there's nothing funny about bullying and that they were wrong to do it. I'm so happy the bullying has stopped. Now I get to play on the plumber whenever I want. I've also noticed that there are a lot more kids on the climber who weren't on it before. I guess I wasn't the only one putting his friends were bullying. Hey Sean, come on over! I gotta go. Dylan and I have some major climbing to do.
Okay, hi again. So, if Cody and his friends started being mean again, even though they'd stopped, um, what should Sean do? Oh, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Oh, yeah, I bet you do. Do you know too? Yeah, I know. I bet you guys know too, don't you? Yeah, I guess everybody knows. Do one of you want to go? Okay, puppy wants to go. He should tell a grown-up again. That's right, he should tell a grown-up again. Um, anytime someone is mean or scary or being a bully, you should always find an adult that you trust and let them know what's going on. So there's going to be an activity sheet to do. And otherwise, I will see you on the next lesson. Bye. Bye. Bye.